Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Oysters? In it was it in a salad? No, no, no. In omelette. In an omelette. Why is it not in omelette? Egg omelette? An egg omelette? No. Oyster in omelette. Okay. We uh, fry oyster with omelette. And uh, what is what's the omelette made of?
Okay? Page 16. And what does it say up on the top there? Substitu substitution drills. Do you know what that means? The word substitution? No. Okay. I think it's important for us to know what we're going to be doing. Hello. Please. So. Substitution. Everybody say that word. Substitution. And remember what I showed you yesterday how to break words down? What's that? Sub. Stit. S-T-I. Substitution. T-U-T-I-O-N. Substitution. And substitution means that you can exchange one word with another. Okay? So I might say to you, um, I feel like, uh, what would be a, uh, you can ask me, what would, what would be a substitution for um, a, a soda? And I may say, well, a substitution for soda, it's a drink, it could be iced tea. Yes. Okay? I'd like to have, a, I, I'd like some iced tea, but I, I, what could you substitute? What could you in place of? Okay? So let's take a look at this, this page 16, at the top of the page, and it's a substitution drills. So it's showing you that you can use different words in a sentence that will have the same, uh, that, that you can substitute them within the sentence. So let's start with my friend right here. Go ahead. Read, read the number one, please. And and just to learn what you decide, what you are deciding, decision is. Right. What you are, I'm anxious to learn anxious. what you decide. Right. Do you know? Okay. Do you know what anxious means? Do we, do, are you familiar? Anxious means um, anxious. Anxious. Okay? I'm anxious to learn what your decision is. I, I'm, I really want to know what's your decision. That's what anxious. Pardon me? Not calm. Not calm. Anxious. Okay, let's read the second one. I'm curious to learn what your decision is. Okay. And I am surprised to learn what your decision is. Right. I am asked to need to learn what your decision is. Decisions. Okay. You know what curious is? I'm curious means I'm wondering. I'm wondering what your decision is. That's what curious. I'm curious. What's your decision? Okay? Curious. And then surprise we know, right? Oh, I was surprised at your decision. And then the last word, do you know what astonished means? I, I'm astonished. I can't believe you, you made that decision. Okay? Does that, do you understand that? I'm, I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm astonished. I'm shocked at the decision she made. Surprised me. It surprised me. Okay? Number two. I am sure you made the right choice. I am positive you made the right choice. Right. I am certain you made the right choice. I am satisfied. Good. Satisfied. Satisfied. Good. Satisfied. Yep. 
jury made the right choice. I am confident you will make the right choice. Now, do we understand? The, do you understand those words? Sure, I'm sure you made the right choice. Positive. You made the right choice. I, I, I'm certain. I know you made the right choice. You're certain of it. And uh, I'm com confident. You know what that word means? Confident. Very sure. I'm com I, 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 confident. Knowing. I know. I'm very confident. It means don't reach one. Confident means don't sure. It means I'm very sure you made the right choice. I'm very confident you made the right choice. I'm, I'm, I'm very sure you made the right choice. Okay, let's go to the third one. I want to persuade you to change your mind. I want to get you to change your mind. I want to ask you to change your mind. I want to remove you to change your mind. Okay. Do we know the one in there? Do we know what uh, persuade? Persuade. Pers the word is the first one in three. I want to persuade. Persuade means convince. I want to urge you to change your mind. I, I, I want to persuade you. I'm gonna. Okay, would you please read four? Excuse me for one excuse me for one second. How pronounce persuade. Persuade. Yeah. Now again, this is whenever you don't know a word. Right? P E R Her suit way a Pers persuade. Okay, yeah. And when you when you get stuck, you break them down, and that's what we call a syllable, which you don't need to worry about. But that's when you don't know how to say a word. Try to break it in pieces. Per su a. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Very good. Will you accept my apologies? Apologies. Yep. So there's a few different words in there, right? We know what advice is. Do we? You know what advice is? I'm going to give you some advice. I'm going to give you some advice. It's good to learn English. That's my advice. Okay? And, um, Explanation. Do you know, do you know that word? Explanation. Okay. Means and sympathy. Sympathy. Do you know what that means? When when do you want me to tell you about that? You want me to tell you sympathy means if something happens to you and that's not good. And I want to offer my sympathy to you, my my uh, heart open to you. I'm, I'm sorry for it's my sympathy. I feel for you for your pain. That's sympathy. Okay, I feel for your pain. Do you? All right, number five. <coughs> what has you besides him? Will you try me? What has he besides him? Will you try me? What has he besides and will you tell me? Good. It's pretty simple that one, right? But you're seeing where you can use different words in the same sentence. Yeah. Okay, my friend. Number Please. Six. Number six. I need uh define define to go to Austria. I almost uh, 
buy fishing. We buy them go to Australia. I buy the fashion to go to Austria. I all buy the fashion to go to Austria. Okay, the last one is I've all but decided. I've, I've, I've all but decided. I've, I've just about there. I've just about made up my mind. I'm all but decided that I think I'm going to go to Australia. And do you know the word definitely? Definitely the first one? I am definitely going to Australia. You say the word definitely. I'm there. I'm going to Australia. Yeah, mine's made up. Okay. And now I'm going to come over here and ask you to read number six. To say, uh, my decision. Good. He does not want to say anything to affect my Good. He does not want to say anything to come come my Okay. Okay. So that's good. Again, you know, the last word was complicate. Complicate. And if you don't know how to say it again, and, and you'll start to see how this is easy to pick. Again, if we break it down, what's this? Com. 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 Complicate. So when you get stuck on a word that you don't know how to say, think about breaking it down again. Complicate. Substitution. Okay, it'll make it easier for you. Okay? Could you please read number eight? Uh, she refused to make up her mind. She had, she had to make up her mind. She doesn't like to make up her mind. She is afraid to make up her mind. She doesn't want to make up her mind. Okay, good. Um, do you, does it sound like she wants to make a decision? Does it? She refuses to make up her mind. She hates to make up her mind. She doesn't like to make up her mind. She's afraid to make up her mind. She doesn't want to make up her mind. It sounds like she doesn't know how to decide. Would you say that? Right? She doesn't want to decide. She's afraid to decide what to do. Yes. Does that make, does that make sense? Do you understand that? Good. She, she refuses. No. Mm -hmm. Refuses. No. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm not going to make up my mind. I refuse to make up my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, she hates to make up her mind. She doesn't, she refuses because she doesn't want to. She hates to do it. She doesn't like to make up her mind. It's distasteful for her. She's afraid to make up her mind. She's afraid to make it. So you can see how those words, okay? Okay? Against going to the pictures, I assume you 
decided against getting married this year. I assume you decided against taking my advice. I assume you decided against working in this department. Doesn't sound like um, doesn't sound like this person isn't doesn't want to buy a car, right? Doesn't not getting married this year going that's pretty do you, you understand that, right? Does that make sense? She doesn't want to do anything. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. What the meaning of assume? Assume. That's very good. Come in. <coughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Let everyone and I am a student. Tadi Assume. Do we know the word assume? Believe. Believe. Uh, assume. I. You know. I. I. I, I gathered. I gathered that. Uh, uh, let's see. I assume. I. I'm. Thinking that you've decided against buying a car. I assume it. Without saying it, I, 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 I'm assuming that. Um, I, I guess you've decided against going to the movies. Okay. Um, I assume something. Without knowing it, but my intuition says to me that uh, you're getting married this year. Please. Okay? So if I ask you what does assume mean, what would you say? I think the easiest would be I'm thinking that you're deciding against buying a car this year. I guess that you've decided against. I assume. I guess. I'm thinking. Okay? Yes. Meaning case. Yeah, you don't know for a fact, but you just, uh, I figure you, 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 you're probably, you're not going to buy the car. That's what it's saying. Okay? Um, how about number 10? It took him a long time to make up his mind. Yes. It took her a long time to make up her mind. Yes. It took you a long time to make up your mind. It took me to uh, it took me a long time to make up my mind. Yeah. It took us a long time to make us our mind. Right. It took you a long time to make up your mind. Right. It took them a long time to make up their mind. Okay. Good. Now, what's interesting about this number 10, I think, is that him, her, you, me, no, him, him, her, you, and me are all singular, one. And so when you look at what's matched up, uh, it took him a long time to make up his mind. So, his, her, your, my is all singular. But us and them is plural. Us, our, our minds. Our more than one. And them, their minds. They're plural. So that, that's what, it's good to know that. Yeah. You, right. So, mind is singular. His mind, her mind, your mind, my mind, our minds, your minds, their minds. Okay. You've got a lot of minds here. Let's do one more before we go to the break. Okay. Number eleven. Yes. You can go 
wherever you like. You can go wherever you like. You can go at what whatever at whatever time you like. You can go on whatever day you like. Very good. Very good. Whenever you like at whatever time. Let's take a break and then when we come back we're going to do some reading and we're going to try to figure some things out on comprehension. Okay? All right. Do you want to get some water? We're going to take a 10 minute break. Time out. What's that? 
อยู่รุ่งหน้าว่าสมมติที่ไอ้วางไว้หาที่เจอเมื่อไหร่จะเก็บใจไว้อะไรวางไว้หาไอ้สมมติที่จบที่เรียนตั้งแต่เรียนหนังสืออ่านนี่หนังสือของเขาแล้วมันจะได้ไม่ได้อ่านเลยแต่เราสายเขียนนะไม่ได้อ่านไว้เลยลุงมีความเป็นสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสายสาย